watching Cartel TV and I'm Amelia. Before we go any further, make sure you subscribe. We've tested the i30 sedan N-Line and focused on just what a leap in the right direction it was for the company. Well, Hyundai have made another one of those leaps for the i30 sedan's largest stablemate, the Sonata. And that's the car behind me. As you can see, it has all the angry styling details of the more recent Hyundai cars, and it proudly defends the sedan fortress in an increasingly SUV world. Now, it only comes in one trim level, but it is a creme de la creme. It's the N-Line, it's packed with loads of features and has a performance engine. It's not really racing track material, but it packs some serious punch and some other features to match. The price also matches this as it stands at 55K by the time you get it on the road. Judging by the look, it is worth the money. The lovely darkened grille is a common thing by now on Hyundai models, but it is difficult to not say what a successful design it is. Sure, it's not one of those designs that can be used on subsequent generations, but on this one right here, it really hits the sweet spot. Headlights hug the upper flanks of the grille, but they're not the main feature. It is this strip that runs from the headlights all the way up along the side bonnet, but it isn't the same all the way though. This part is an LED daytime light, and it is just so damn awesome. The rest of it is a chrome strip that follows the entire sideline. Sure, it's a gimmick and nothing special in terms of innovation. I mean, it's a chrome line, but it just looks so damn awesome from both the front and the side view. Speaking of the side, other than the cool line, you won't miss the 19-inch wheels. The design is unmistakably recognisable and the N-Line logo right in the middle is a friendly reminder that this car packs some oomph. The side shape is less in your face and more kind of elegant and the rear gets that coupish line that we liked on several other models. It just makes sedans look so much more modern. The rear ups the aggression again with the cool look, a nice boot lid wing and these thingies at the top of it. Apparently something to do with aerodynamics. I'm not really sure, but what I am sure about is that they look nice and unique without being vulgar. The rear is finished off by this diffuser and fake, yet nice looking quad exhaust pipes. If I wanted to be really picky, the angling down of the exhaust pipe doesn't really seem to fit in with the rest of the design. If anything, it just makes it look a bit more less aggressive. What do you think? But in all honesty, overall it is just awesome. It's like a luxury sleek with a sporty flair. But does the engine match? Yes and no. I mean, it is a truly awesome engine and a joy to drive, and I'm looking forward to taking it for another spin in just a minute, but it might give you the impression that it's a proper sports car, and it's not. It is a sporty model with more power than you will ever need and so much potential to make you smile every time you drive it. But that line in N-Line tells you that this is not a proper N car. It's close enough though. The engine is a 2.5 turbo petrol with 213 kilowatts and 422 newton meters of torque. The latter available from 1650 to 4000 revs. Not bad at all. I mean, there is so much fun and power in it. Officially, it reaches 106.2 seconds and consumes around eight liters per 100 kilometers on average. It is paired with a nice eight speed dual clutch, which is a step up from the old one, which in itself wasn't bad at all. But the power is sent to the front wheels only. Behind the wheel, the Sonata N-Line feels awesome for anything that is not flat out racing. It has a lot of power, more than you probably actually need, and it is just delivered so well. I mean, lag is just minimal. And the gearbox is just so good. Being a dual clutch, it is really fast and responsive, but it isn't jerky. It gets the engine to very comfortable revs very quickly, and this is not a major achievement as a torque curve, whose top starts just over 1,500 revs and stays like that for the next 2,500 revs. It makes things really easy. The engine is so flexible and responsive, and the gearbox is just made for it. I really love it. Literally the only conditions where this engine will feel lacking is racing, and not many people are going to buy a Sonata to race. In all other conditions, honestly, it's just awesome. I mean, overtaking is a breeze, there is power on tap, city driving is very relaxed, cruising is wonderful also. Truly, it is very difficult to say a bad thing about this powertrain. Handling is also very good for a front-wheel drive machine. Understeer is minimal and you have to really try to throw it off balance. Steering is very precise and you get good feedback. Really nice for a front-wheel drive car once again. As amazing as this is, I can't help but wonder how good it would have been if the power was sent to the rear wheels. 
Suspension is a bit on the sporty side, as expected, but it's not uncomfortable on regular roads. You will notice bumps in the road even when not in the sportier settings. At first, you see an obvious upmarket design. Fine Nappa leather, that nice 10.25-inch touchscreen we've seen in many other Hyundai models, which comes standard with satellite navigation, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. This great digital instrument cluster, Bose sound system, memory seats, wireless charging, electric everything, and a complimentary butler. OK, there's no butler, and it's not the level of the Rolls-Royce, but the Sonata N-Line is one fine car to be in. The central console has a lot of space, as there is no gear lever. Instead, expectedly from Hyundai nowadays, you get these buttons to change gears with. But here's a cool thing about this gear selector. If you turn the car off, even while it's in gear, the car will automatically go into park. Next to the gear selector, there are two cup holders of different sizes and an armrest behind it all. Up front, there are two USB ports, a 12 volt socket and a wireless charging tray. I just love the Recaro front seats. They are so supportive and I love that they added this suede part in the middle. Sure, Nappa leather is awesome, but the suede inserts are better for more performance oriented driving and they don't give you that winter bite that the leather seats tend to give you. Things in the back are pretty good as well. Honestly, I didn't expect anything less. I mean, the amount of rear space in the i30 sedan is really awesome, so a car one size up was bound to offer even more. Headroom is great, legroom is good, and the knee angle is better than a lot of the other cars in this class. You also get the Nappa suede combo in the back, and there is a USB charger, air vents, armrest, cup holders, you know already. A bonus in this model is the heated rear seats and these side window shades. The boot can hold up to 510 litres of cargo, which is also pretty good. But here's an inherent downside of sedans. Sure, the opening is as wide as it can be, but it's also pretty narrow from the load lip to the bottom of the rear window. The boot can also pop up on its own, which is handy if you're short on hands. <laughs> Trying to find this rather inconspicuous button. Speaking of which, can you figure out where it is? <laughs> no, wait, I couldn't find another thing. The Sonata is a safe car. It comes standard with SmartSense, which includes things like blind spot collision avoidance, high beam assist, rear cross traffic alert, driver attention warning, lane keep assist with lane departure warning, lane following assist, safe exit assist, forward collision avoidance system with car, pedestrian and cyclist detection, as well as junction turning assist, smart cruise control with stop and go, blind spot monitor, surround view monitor with parking guidance, electric parking brake, auto hold and more. So, my personal gripes? It's front wheel drive, but I had to cherry pick. Now the market gripes, it's not an SUV or a hatchback. Now if those two reasons are not enough to dismiss the Hyundai Sonata N-Line for you, then you are in for a treat. It is just so much of a car. It is really fast when you put your foot down. It handles pretty well. It has a nice amount of space. It looks great. Interior is packed with goodies and it is a very comfortable cruiser. Back in the day when sedans were really popular, this would have been one of the hottest offers on the market. Now, if you're still into sedans, then the Hyundai Sonata really does justify the price and it comes in just the one trim that really has everything. Thanks for watching Cartel TV. Now, do you know what would really make my day? If you head on over to our Instagram page, give us a follow and let us know what car would you like to see next? We love responding to your requests. See you next time.